Inyanya drops bombshell as he reveals what really happened between him and his new crush from Davido's concert. Moving on to the next guys, we have actress Ruby Ojako addresses critics of her small kitchen and utensils. But before I commence fully with the main gist, welcome to Aproco DCV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trending latest matters happening on social media. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share and turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our next video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Aproco Gist to all our wonderful returning subscribers. Much for me here thank you for your consistency and support we do not take you for granted now to all our viewers relax enjoy and stay tuned Inyanya, an award-winning singer who is also known as Onyom Umbok, has opened up about his encounter with his new crush at Davido's concert. As you may remember Inyanya tweeted a few days ago that he was looking for a girl that attracted his attention while he was upstage at Davido's latest show at TBS. Within a day, the singer was able to find the woman, the fact that she had gone to the event with her boyfriend, which some people had spotted, caused conflicting reactions to this news. After a few days, Yanya made an official announcement on Twitter regarding the aftermath of meeting the girl. Here is what he wrote. Yanya tweeted, you all remember how it started two Sundays ago when I sighted an amazing girl at Davido's Timeless concert. She was eyeing me throughout my performance and I couldn't forget her beautiful smile and I tweeted about it. Luckily, Florence reached out, I tweeted her picture and I asked my team to reach out to her while her conversation went on with the team. We found that she has been depressed and only came for Davido's concert as a way to make herself happy and my team asked her why she was depressed. And she told us one of our close relatives had been battling cancer when i was informed i felt like it would be nice to give her a treat in lagos i had my team contact her and make plans for her to come to lagos so i can help put a smile on her face life is too short not to spread kindness Florence got to Lagos on Saturday and my team made sure she had the best time here. We got her accommodation at West End Hotels and Spa, a few clothes from Pay Porte, eyewear from House of Lunettes, hair from Lucy's hairline, LV perfume, boat cruise, iPhone and few other things to make her feel special. She deserves it. NB. I only met Florence for the first time on the boat and my team dropped her off at the hotel. I didn't bring her here for any other agenda but to make sure that she was happy. After all, she has been through a lot. Thank you all and keep supporting the movement, wrote Inyanya on Twitter. Many people couldn't keep their thoughts to themselves as they saw it fit to react to the post. Someone wrote, Nayo Pekin. You think say you put for here. Another person commented, Obi get cancer, but now Florence them take her out, go give treats. Them also give Florence iPhone, but Obi we get cancer, still they use I tell P13. Yeah, yeah, this your story is not storying with laughing emojis. Another person wrote, 14 years in the industry and look at how your PR still looks. Someone else commented, make una leave in yeah, yeah, oh. So guys, that is some of the comments we could fetch. You know when this news came up of Inyanya and this beautiful lady, it blew up the internet because you know we haven't seen something like this in a while. And we were all wondering who is this mysterious lady that has gotten Inyanya's attention and we all wanted to know the next move. And here it is. You know many people are actually going through a lot and will just go out of their way to have fun just to forget their problems at that particular time and that is exactly what happened to Florence. She used Davido's concert as a means to escape her problems according to her and wow this happened to her it is quite amazing if I must say. Forget the critics and all many people will be tripping for this kind of opportunity who wouldn't want this? Someone would just offer to poor you just like that i'm not just anyone a celebrity wow this is amazing i must say and we are hoping to see what he has installed for the girl we are just hoping and waiting to see all of this because he promised that more is still on the way so guys that is that we have on Inyanya. moving on after this guys we have nollywood actress ruby ojako has reacted to critics of her kitchen and utensils it started with ruby ojako sharing a video of her happily 
dancing and preparing stew in her small kitchen. The video disappointed many of her fans who felt the actress should upgrade her lifestyle and utensils and drop the village girl attitude. Many deemed the kitchen and utensils which were looking old and dirty unfit for someone of her status. Reacting to the criticisms, Ruby Ojako apologized to them for trying to live her life within her means. But before we look at what Ruby Ojako wrote, let's take a look at the video. Family before going to work. And of course, come yet for this too. I am trying to fry the tomato. Come yet for yekbo. And while doing that, I have to dance. Of course, I'm gonna be good now. Can it still wear me a brain? Can't you see the face of the stew? Can't you see how beautiful? How the thing you wear mama. Do you understand? If the face of your stew is not like this, because you call them, don't give me because I will not eat. And of course, showstopper must dance. No, no, no. I dance while cooking. Because if I don't dance, the stew I'm on total, that food do not be sweet so i have to dance dance one name we go in a scene in a big one adaba can't you see okay now i'm trying to that video was just so full of joy and she enjoying herself in her space and her cooking i see absolutely nothing wrong with it but as a normal thing people will always talk ruby ojako stated that she lives in a two-bedroom flat in asaba as that is what she can afford and as such they have to bear with her she said for those of you saying and shouting, screaming, her kitchen is too small. Like, Ruby, at your level, how can you be using such a tiny kitchen? You guys shouldn't be angry. I know your kitchen is like a room and parlor. I know it's so wild, like room and parlor. I bet make one know two vets for me. That's what I use. I live in a two-bedroom apartment in Asaba, and that's the side of the kitchen. And I only have money for two-bedroom, and that's the size of my kitchen. And those of you saying I used old utensils, I'm so sorry. I have four ones though, but I love to use the old ones. She also added in her caption, Be you, be contented. I beg no mind world people, them no get joy at all. You know on social media, if you spend too much, people will talk. If you spend too less, people will talk. Even if you spend medium, people will always talk. Critics are always there to criticize you. So just be you. But trust me, you don't see this every day. I have never seen a celebrity who has that kind of tiny kitchen and tiny house and is comfortable, extremely comfortable to the extent she even shared it. So guys, let us know what your thoughts and opinions are. We would love to hear from you in the comment section. And if you haven't guys, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to our YouTube page at Aprokojis TV. Don't forget to like, share and turn on your notification bell to get notified when next we drop our next video. And if you haven't, do follow us on our Facebook platform at Aprokojis, where it's our duty to keep you informed and updated on trending latest matters happening Thank on social media. Thank you all so, so much for staying tuned with us up to this point. We really do appreciate it. As highly we have come to the end of today's segment. So like, comment, and wait next guys. Do stay safe.